Hello guys, this is uh, my first Hero Plus tutorial. Today I'll be introducing, well, some of, some of you might know if they are divine, how to make money when you're divine. But uh, what I will do is to test how much money I will make for 10 minutes in uh, Celestial Upper Mountain. And I will also try to explain what are the drop items, etc, etc, etc. What we will do, we will go and I will grind for 10 minutes. And uh, I will show you the results. I will start, I will have 10 millions in uh, my pocket. And what we will have at the end, where well, we will count, we will... NPC items which are NPCable and we also check for the prices of the uh, auctioneer Okay, what we'll use it will be our pandemonium ticket if you don't know what is pandemonium then You should not be allowed to play this game. Well, I'm just kidding pandemonium and uh, dead king castle tickets are tickets that allow you to exploit alternative realities of uh, certain areas which are copied by the real areas but uh, you have benefits you have uh, special uh, item drops and uh, better experience and drops but the more important which is the difference between pandemonium and uh, uh, decay ticket is that the mobs will follow you uh, in groups not only three or four mobs but uh, you actually lure a horde of mobs and you can easily alley them what we will uh, do is uh, well we go flexible uh, castle which is pandemonium ticket uh, for the purpose of uh, the game I will use uh, I bought for dragon but uh, it's not obligatory actually it just changed some of the uh, uh, drop rates, but uh, well, it's not proved. Uh, well, you see, the mobs are following me. We will go, you know, uh, we say that it's the corner of the map. That there, there is uh, usually the spot that people farm when they're AFK on their N8. Uh, actually, there are two spots, so we can, you could change them all the time uh, but you know you see I get the group of mobs and I start okay we start our stopwatch and we count uh, 10 minutes okay we're now on the spot we fix the bug when you change with a force now we start running, killing mobs, I will explain the item drops, I will pick only the necessary items, you see the port coming, fast kills. Let's see, we have, well, we have bracelet of the great sky, which is not very useful, head of the idol. Head of the idol is one of the uh, items needed to make a uh, feral box. Uh, actually the craft rate is very low uh, but we will try at the end to craft we will need one more drop I will show you which one more you see this is the second uh, spot you see again horde of mobs uh, we have to rotate the two spots because we kill too fast Ooh, you see we have good drops again we have a uh, yellow earring precious pendants luminous bed we pick all di these items you see I switch again to the first spot mobs are just spawning so we will do that for 10 minutes okay what you do what you should want to do is uh, you switch this uh, auto manual attack which actually fucks things it's much easier to control your uh, tune when you hear this off okay you will notice that we have divination load much faster here ah! 
what we have could drop we got one charm which are usable i will explain you later for what it's uh it's worth grinding because it drops a lot of items well people grind it a lot but the good thing is that you have a separate uh, boss pack for uh, either DK or DK or Pandemonium uh, instances. So if you get Pandemonium ticket, you can farm easily with boss. But it's you know it's risky because other people are farming too. So you cannot depend on the boss for regular income. But this one is for sure profitable. Let's see, we have charm. So get this because we use it on craft. I suggest you just collect your charms. I, I haven't crafted yet feral uh, buff, but it uh, the rumors are that it gives uh, ghost dodgers with uh, more than one plus. We will also test this one. Oh, I got some item drop. Yeah, we got. Uh, Rick of the Great Sky, which is not very good, it's yellow, but we also got our first uh, decay drop, it's not very good, but you know, we can make like half a million from it. The strange thing is that uh, we haven't yet got to our war box, but hopefully we will get some. Oh, we got the war box. It uh, drops uh, in the, directly in the inventory. So we have hot spotter we could uh, get. We have divination. The war boxes are the best uh, way to make money. There are two ways, uh, two, two type of drops. It's uh, medium or high uh, war box. Medium is uh, sold for 1.5 million. The other one is sold for 4 million. The high one. So it's one of the best ways to have income here. It's comparable to uh, you know the silver drops. Oh, we had the, the bow here drop. Uh, what to say? The other we think is crap. Oh, it's powder. Well, let's see the bow. It's uh, only plus one. We don't make much money, but for example, if you have plus five or plus six drops, you can sell it for like uh, 17, 20 million. Of course, uh, the good thing is to make money is uh, to have uh, the statue, which also gives you additional, uh, which gives gives you best, best, better NPC price. Uh, okay, we got silver thread, recovery pills, which we will not use. See the other pack coming. We got another charm, luminous bed. The other thing is crap, it's all it sells for uh, I don't know why uh, they did that because there are some items that could do with better sell price. But obviously we will have that probably one of the latest patch. We have the grouping coming two skills they're dead okay we have this spirit bearing spear we actually look for sword uh, because this is what I need to, to complete my set uh, to my uh, I mean to complete my craft for feral uh, armor but hopefully we'll get one please notice that I'm higher level uh, like uh, you see I have uh, blue mobs which actually reduces the amount of drops I get. You had uh, lots of crystals, you have dry jerky, which is, you know, you craft a food which is not very good. You have Evo Spirit Instance, uh, you have other uh, things that you can use, so it's one of the things you leave it behind. Okay. We don't have very good drops here. Okay, we have uh, like eight minutes past. Oh, 
Okay, what we'll do, we'll extend the time for uh, 15 minutes because it's actually the time for our drop. Uh, I mean, for our boost to fade out. So it's better to calculate the craft soul stone is not useful, stolen share box is not useful too, it's craft item but it's not uh, very useful. Ah! We have precious pe pendant. Uh, what you do with precious pendant, you keep uh, plus two and plus three. I actually delete plus two, but we'll see what will be the price in the auction house. Like you actually get a lot of precious pendants here. If you want to farm precious pendants, you just go here and get K. Uh, what is specific here on uh, the modern maps is that you have better drugs, but also, the mobs have uh, higher minimum damage, so it doesn't matter how good your gear is, they still give you like 300 damage. Is the minimum for uh, this type of things. Okay, let's get this group. We'll actually play it until this uh, one fades out. We have two more precious pendants. We have the animation lot. We have also good money for divination lots uh, when we have this jobs. We will also calculate that. Okay, one more group. Two so good drops. better but we still have some money we made <laughs> we have more divination vault There was one more question I was asked about the tidal pots. You see, you have uh, when you use the tidal pots uh, in your hunting guide system, you cannot actually items. Uh, these are the best drops you can get here, so I just added them. And if you uh, uncollect this normal item, so you can uh, play longer, uh, you can actually uh, get. Uh, these drops even they are normal items and you have unclicked them uh it's made uh, so you can pick only valuable items so you don't uh, fuel your inventory with crap okay still crap 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 26 seconds we will have time for two more groups <sighs> Dreadnought receive, we don't use this, it actually fills a lot of your inventory. Okay, let's group and to we'll calculate our income. Ok, 
Okay. So so we pour back. And we check what's our income. Let's first check uh, you what well, we see we got precious pendant plus three. We had also what we have plus two. The other thing we won't sell it. Uh, the bad thing is that we didn't get the spirit bearing uh, sword, but we'll get it later. We exchange the crap, so we were with 10 million at the start. We start, we sell everything back to the great sky. We sell it, it's not very good. Earring, it's not very good either. But if we were lucky, we just keep the charms there. Actually, free one inch each, but here good crap. What we got medium war loot, you see, we got uh, 1.5 uh, million with uh, uh, our bonus. We sell the spear for uh, almost 8k, 800k. Rick of the Great Sky, crap. Lotus powder, crap, crap. We, we sell also the bow for. 400k silver thread you, you see we sell it for 100k for 800k uh, you see we got another medium uh, war box we sell the boar meat law for 100k we again meat the bad is that we all got uh, meat war boxes but they usually uh, one of every three is high so it's like 30%, 33% chance to get high one, kill the crap, so the profit here, well, let, let's check. It, it was uh, roughly, we make 10 million in 10 minutes, and we didn't have uh, very good drops. We also got two pendants, which you can count what are they, uh, they worth. Uh, so we go to check uh, consignment. Oh, no pendants. That's strange. Oh yeah, and then let's say so we have. Uh, 1.3 million for plus 2 and 5 million for plus 3 so our pendants worth 6.2 million plus 10 so the total profit for our 50 minutes is uh, 60 million so it's not bad if we calculate it it's like making 60 million per hour but keep in mind that we got uh, not very good drops we had decent drops but it was still okay you, you have a uh, decent money so if you grind like crazy you can get like 100 million from my experience per hour which means that for two hours you make 300 million and if you play like insane Chinese gold farm, like, you know, if you play with one tune just to make money, uh, so for 20 hours you make like a billion and a half just from uh, selling drops. Keep in mind that you also have uh, craft items. You also, what is good, you get, you see, uh, let me see what I have in consignment if I have it. Mm. Nope. I still have some of uh, the dead drop items, but for example, you have uh, good drops with accuracy, which can, you can sell good. Uh, it's H uh, five items are sold for like fifty millions, which is what I'm using. Uh, it's a four F a four. This is also what I got from drop. Uh, this bracelet costs like several hundred millions. Uh, the ring I get is also H283 with A3 stats. 
and uh, your ink I also have his H485. Uh, you know at this level the accuracy is very important if you want to print in higher zones because uh, you, you, if you put uh, most of the stats uh, to ink so you can get uh, higher damage it lowers your accuracy so you need everything to carry your accuracy okay I think I was uh, careful hopefully I'll get with uh, another lesson uh, next time and uh, also we will check how much money you will make from one uh, circle of mahus hopefully and uh, we will check that later thank you for and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel you know you, wanna, you, you might find very old hero movies from like oh I don't know like eight years ago well this guy this game lasts long okay thank you guys for watching and subscribe to the channel